The story for this for the serial number six is <clears throat> the TARDIS materializes inside an Aztec tomb. Outside it, the Doctor and his companions soon discover that Mexico in the 15th century is a bloodthirsty and dangerous place. And with Barbara mistaken for a reincarnation of an ancient high priest called Yataxa, the history teacher thinks that she can put an end to the barbaric human sacrifices once and for all. But can she rewrite history without disastrous consequences? The serial was just great to watch. It was more of a thriller than anything else, for you were always on the edge of your seat, wondering what was going to happen next. You first have the sacrificial, sacrificial priest trying to continue his job of sacrificing lives for the, gobs, for the gods, but is unable to because of Barbara banning sacrifices, and so believes she is not whom she says she is, and will do anything to prove it and even kill, it, kill for it. And then we have Barbara, who is trying to rewrite history by banning all sacrifices, and the doctor gives her hell for it. He tells her there's, there, there, there may be consequences for what she has done, and she, she realizes she may have made a mistake and must try to keep face while, while the others search for a way back to the TARDIS. And then we have Ian, who is thought to be the warrior of the, of the company, and is challenged to a duel with the Aztec's greatest warrior, and wins. The warrior is determined to gain, gain the honor he lost, and will do anything to win the next duel. The rivalry between Ian and the warrior is a tense one, and makes one wonder what, 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 what he will do when Ian's back is turned. In the climax at the end of the serial, Ian and the warrior have one last great battle that results in Ian throwing the other warrior off the temple and the warrior falling to his death. This fight scene was well choreographed and exciting to watch. Susan is taken to a remote hut and is taught the ways of the Aztecs, but the sacrificial priest wants to use her for his own means to get Barbara to allow sacrifices. <clears throat> Excuse me. The doctor roams around in fascination at everything for, for obvious awe and interest, but he is also looking for a way back to the TARDIS. Along the way, he meets an old Aztec woman about his age, and they appear to like each other. One day, she offers cocoa, and the doctor loves it and makes some for both of them. Unfortunately, he did not know this means they are now engaged to marry. This, this marks the first time the doctor has a love interest. This little love story was both romantic and funny. Even, Ian even laughs at the doctor when he tells him what happened. But this love story is ended when the doctor tells the lady he cannot continue with this. She understands, but gives him a gift to remember her by. When the company finally returns to the TARDIS, the doctor leaves her gift on an altar. He takes one step to the TARDIS, then stops. He turns around and pockets the gift, then goes back into the TARDIS. Even, even, even though he knew her for only a short while, he really did love her. As with all historical serials, the sets and costumes were amazing. As with anything that has to do with time travel, one must talk about the consequences of changing history. This serial is the first time the Doctor talks about it, and I agreed with him, with him fully when he was yelling at Barbara for what she was doing. Granted, she didn't know beforehand, but as a history teacher, she shouldn't know something about history and that things happen for a reason or are supposed to happen. In the end, I was debating about giving the serial their four or five stars, so I just decided to compromise and give it four and a half. It, it was really good. This serial is one of many I recommend to people to, for people to watch. It has a good suspense, action story characters, a little romance, and great performances. And I think people who are fans of history might like, like the designs of, of the sets and costumes. Granted, I don't think there are a, there are little historical nug, nuggets that historians might like. I, I don't know, I, for I haven't done any great study into the Aztec, Aztec culture in my youth. But I'm sure they will enjoy watching it nonetheless, as I'm sure you would too. <laughs>